Hello. Hello. Yes. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Okay. Konnichiwa, Thomas. Konnichiwa. Uh, where are we now? We are <laughs> in Harajuku area. Mm -hmm. I don't know which part of the Meiji Shrine this is. There's a beautiful lake like river there. Yeah, this park is in Meiji Shrine. In Meiji Shrine, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. It's, it's like a hidden gem, I feel. So did you see the great journey of karate too? I did. I think oh. It's very impressive. How was it? Amazing. Yeah, I thought it was very well done. Um, it was more than just a film or a documentary. It was much more than that. It, the editing wasn't overly special, which I think is great because it made me feel like I was there in the video. Oh. It was done so well. And so it feels like I am experiencing everything that Naka Sensei and the other uh, senseis were experiencing at that moment. Which part is the most impressive to, for you in uh, Franklin? Uh, for me, it was actually Naka Sensei's openness to learn. Mm. That really impressed me. That was very encouraging for me to see mm. uh, such a high level instructor being so modest in his approach and not afraid of humility. Mm. So what I mean by that is that he was willing to volunteer to to be demonstrated on mm. to experience the techniques. So when Yamashiro Sensei or Miyahira, Miyahira, Sensei. Miyahira Sensei were demonstrating on Naka Sensei, he was very um, open to learn mm. and experience, even sometimes very painful for Naka Sensei. Mm. He wanted to experience mm. the technique yeah. so that he can learn for himself. That, for me, was the best part. Uh, he looks happy. He looks happy, <laughs> always smiling, and yeah. if someone hits his arm, he's like so happy. Like that... a junior high school student. Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> he's always young at heart, forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that was so nice to see. Mm. Yeah, very humbling. So, what do you think of the Yamashiro Sensei's part? Yamashiro Sensei mm. talking about the kata? Yes. Temptation. Yes, temptation, yeah. yes. Well, を練習してその強くならない<笑> そこにはその前段階 Kumite in Kihon. Mm -hmm. And to see Yamashiro Sensei apply his kata to his fighting, that was very interesting for me mm -hmm. to see. Mm -hmm. um, he is very, very technical mm -hmm. with his thinking. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, not a simple mind, which is very difficult, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was very impressed. Because sometimes when he was fighting, he would stand in harmony position with his body to the side, mm -hmm. kind of much like this, mm -hmm. which is very unorthodox for me personally, but it works very well for him because it gives the image that he is actually far away, yeah. but he is not yeah. when he punches. Mm -hmm. I was very impressed by his, his mind and thinking. He's a, a textbook of karate. <laughs> And he began that interview by the sparring with Nakasensei. Yes, I was so surprised. Actually, when I saw that, I was very nervous 
at that moment, which is why this film is so great because you feel all these emotions. Sometimes when the senseis are laughing, you smile. When they are fighting, you feel nervous. I was very surprised to see that, to, for the film to start like that. And Naka Sensei is not afraid to try for himself. Yeah. Uh, and so it makes for the viewers a very personal experience. Mm. And it's very rare to see two high level, again, two high level instructors mm. doing that mm. and sharing their art mm. in a fight. Yeah. And the Yamashiro Sensei um, uh, put. Yes, yeah, Stepping Naka Sensei. Actually, yeah, yeah. yes, in that action. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see it when I first saw the film, I didn't notice. Uh -huh. Until Naka Sensei explained it. どうでした<笑><笑><笑> And I watched it again and I saw a couple of times. It was very sneaky. Yeah, smart. That's what I mean. Yamashiro Sensei, he's able to always think one step ahead before he does it. And sometimes, personally for me, in Shiai or during a fight, I'm very in the moment. I can't think too much. If I think too much, then my body cannot move well. Mm -hmm. But for Yamashiro Sensei, mm -hmm. he's always thinking, thinking, thinking. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's what works well for mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yamashiro Sensei told me yes. his style oh is not changed from since three or four, four hundred years ago. Wow. It's an ancient <laughs> style that yes. he's stayed yes. true to. That is amazing mm -hmm. to see. Yeah. I think with the development of karate being more sport-like, more competition, you're slowly losing that mm. traditional yeah. style yeah. Yeah. and approach. Mm. So it's very nice to see a purist like him continue to uh, share the technique that he learned from much long ago, yeah. Yeah, a long, long time ago. Hello everyone, please watch The uh, Great Journey of Karate 2. I was so impressed by the video in that uh, we saw many special techniques. Um, I think one of the most impressive for me was when Miyahira Sensei was bending the bone back. It looks so painful. Um, and also to learn about Naka Sensei uh, from a more personal perspective and how he has uh, some health problems but is still able to carry on and do many great things. And also Yamashiro Sensei of course and his when he was stepping back in honey position and then his fast reaction with his hands and stepping on the foot. It's just small little things all through the video that just made it such an enjoyable uh, video to watch. So please, if you have time, support the great journey of Karate 2. And three hours. Three hours. Three hours of great, <laughs> epic video to watch. You will and not uh, be bored. Special edition in seven hours. Oh, seven hours. <laughs> seven hours. If you are a karate fanatic or karate nerd, such as myself, seven hours, kick back, enjoy, relax, and you guys will love the video. So either or is great. And next step for me is I, will, I am off to Okinawa. So I'm excited for the next journey of karate of Thomas. Naka Tatsuya, Nihon Karate Kyokai Shohonbu Shihan. Naka wa Konkai no Great Journey de Futari no Otoko ni deyau.
人目は山城義朝数百年前から伝わる沖縄空手を現代の格闘家たちに指導し古流空手の強さを証明し続けている僕はやっぱ競技者なんで人生かかってるんですよ勝ち負けに。夢と人生生活かかってるんで、自分より強い人じゃないとなりたくないですよ。型を練習して、その強くならないはずがないんです。取り手っていうのの動きのうちの、まあ、巻いてなんですけど。で、これで離れる。おっとっと。ピタって形つくんだけど、これだけ。これだけ。このままに。すごい。もう崩れないんで、全然。来てても来てないと思っちゃう。もう一人は宮平保津沖縄で空手を修行した後二十歳で中国へ渡りさまざまな金利手を含む伝統的な中国武術を身につけた見えにくいですね